So uh, what we do is we help independent artists keep their business in order. Mm. Um, we offer like different deal structures that cater to the artist's needs um, based off of where they want to be um, in their career, where they want to go. Um, and we also provide um, our clients with unique distribution and that's through Empire Distribution. Roger so that. We inked a, a deal with Empire back in 2019. Mm -hmm. And what that gives us is it gives us the, the name, um, it gives us the brand. Right. And it also gives us more of a reach than a traditional distribu distributor like TuneCore or CD Baby. All of my good they still in the struggle. Flexing on things with money, no muscle. Uh -huh. Good, we using no rubber. I tell them, like, sir, better be a hustle. Who that's stronger, you niggas in trouble. The 40 they took ain't no time to tussle. I'm fucking up, gone, ain't no time to call. I tell them, like, sir, best of the best entertainment presets. Your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, what's going down? It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best TV, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artist. Today, we got a producer, publisher, innovator, fashion, trademarker, copywriter, etc. Man, we got your boy. Introduce et cetera, yourself. Et cetera. What up? It's your boy, Cairo Divine, man. CDMG Music Group. Salute, salute. Thanks for coming to the show, man. How, How you feeling, know, brother, man? Thanks. Thank yeah, Thank man. You. you know, you feel me, man? It's not a collaborative uh, project this not time, man. It's all about your accolades. So, how you man, feeling man. today, man? I'm good, man. You know, I'm blessed. You know what I mean? As far as family wise, as far as business wise, um, you know, some of the things I'm trying to accomplish in life, you know, I'm I'm blessed to be where I'm at, where I am today. You, know, you put a mic up a little bit closer to you for yes, the sir. for the yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So you said keep on keep on going. Yeah, I'm I'm just blessed to be where I am today and um just being able to enjoy the fruits of my labor in, in some aspects and uh, just be trying to help and um other artists and you know stuff like that grow and you know just th keeping myself busy man you know i'm, I'm a busy b when it comes yes to sir it. man we see on. the roster growing man so uh <laughs> so walk us through how you how this music journey started man um so it's it's kind of a long story because it it started early in my life um you know i I was, I performed, to be honest with you, man, I was, I did a kindergarten play and, and I remember this to this day. Um, I was a lion tamer uh, and, and it was crazy because that was the role that they picked me to be. Full was, circle. I had the, you know, the, the little uh, lion, the Tarzan kind of um, uniform on and I had a little whip and I had to whip the lion, you know what I'm saying? Somebody playing a lion, they yeah. had a little lion costume and I had to whip the lion. All I had to say was, yeah, 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 yeah. Facts, facts, facts. And yeah. I don't know, man, maybe that did something to me, but um, skipping fast forward to like when I was younger in my younger teenage years, see, I grew up in, in Kankakee, Illinois. So that's right outside of Chicago. Roger that. And, um, you know, mostly everybody from Kankakee is from Chicago. So, right. um, as a kid, we was back and forth from Kankakee to Chicago. And this was, this was in the eight, in the eighties. Right. Um, you know, this is kind of when around the time hip hop was really getting this. Yeah, it was prominent. Start. Yeah. 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 So, um, somehow, I acquired these tapes from my uncles. My uncles, you know, they had, you know, they cars and they had all these tapes and stuff in their cars. So mm -hmm. somehow I acquired these tapes, man. And I'm I'm listening to these, these, these artists, you know, this is out in my grandmother crib. You know, she was a little bit further outside of Kankakee is more like a country or type of, you know, atmosphere, but I'm sitting out on the park bench and her, her land, she got like, 10 acres of land so i'm sitting out on a park bench listening to these tapes and these tapes is like dj jazzy jeff and the fresh prince it's um eric b and rakim you know it's like some of the pioneers roger um, that. krs1 Damn. so i'm listening to these dudes as a teenager i'm like what the f what is they yeah I'm like, dog they making these words rhyme like this is and they it's a song it, it amazed me correct you know what i mean so after that I started writing. So, you know, I, I'm immediately after immediately that. Impacted oh, me. I got it. I started what? writing raps. You know what, what I'm saying? I just started writing. I didn't know 
how to structure songs. I I didn't know how to put them together, but the I was writing raps came out and rhyming the words. You know what I'm saying? And, and it comes out as a rap, and I'm like, okay, so I keep doing it. And then, um, like the later later in the '80s, my moms moved us here to Milwaukee. Right. Shout out to so, moms, man, because I got the beat this nigga. <laughs> and, uh, so you know, we we first touched down in Milwaukee and the the. Um, later 80s and touched down our first crib was on 27th and center that was the crib the you know trenches I mean? in the straight trenches Shice. i ain't know where i was at at the time but you know coming from kankakee and being in chicago yeah yeah food, yeah it wasn't no culture shock to me but it was like this oh, familiar wait a minute <laughs> like okay i gotta make sure i'm watching what's going on keep my head up and you know what i'm saying on a swivel so, and if y'all and if you from milwaukee you know you remember two seven you already know that's, that was their territory over there and yes, I, Lord. you know i i seen some things you know what i'm saying man I, i'm amazed <laughs> at the fact that you pulled the the, the pen out immediately after you listened yep. to these so like yep. it's it's you wanted to get right into it man so let's yeah. go down memory lane man so uh what, what was your you you I obviously, uh, I obviously wanted to jump into the music. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. do you remember like your earliest performances? Yep. So, um, co going back to when we came to Milwaukee, um, when I got into high school and stuff like that, you know, I, I met some, met people. Shout out to my my man Ace from Vincent Vincent High School, and we uh, we formed a little crew. Um, and then we ran into some more, some more cast and, you know, next thing you know, we got a whole group called the specialist outfit, you know, seven of us and puts a whole bunch of, wait, the what it's called the specialist outfit. What? How did y'all come up with that name? Man, we was on a whole nother level. <laughs> that, we was, <laughs> that's we a was, particular name. Uh, seriously, man. Yeah. So with that group, um, we used to be in the studio all the time, man, with eye to eye, baby drew them, cuckoo cow them back way back in the days before. A lot of people knew about them. We was like that group that knew, that nobody really knew about, but Facts. seen everywhere. Like, man, who was all these dudes all the Facts. time? So, you know, we we entered this this talent contest, um, and it was held by Andre Harrell, rest in peace, of Motown Records. He was the president and CEO of Motown Records at the time. Man, he held a world, uh, uh, I would say a nationwide talent showcase. Right. And in that that talent showcase, we travel out of state, you know what I'm saying, to get into this this talent showcase. So we ended up doing a couple of uh, runs at this talent showcase because within the specialist outfit, it was groups and solo artists. Oh, so one of the, one of the groups already within the specialist get. outfit is the ones who performed in front of of this the talent showcase the yeah. hustlers yeah so um we ended up going to indianapolis to perform in the semifinals and ended up coming in third. Oh, how old was you not to cut you off how old were you at this time uh we was teenagers i'll probably say uh 19 18 19 20 around in, around in that right, early, right. early early yeah yeah 20s. yes sir yes sir so, Continue the story, man. Yep. So, yeah. uh, so we ended up traveling, going to Indianapolis. Uh, we we geeked, you know what I'm saying? We y'all you know, out of state, out of state. You what? know what I'm saying? I was always a driver, so I'm driving, ah. like, blowing, and you know what I'm saying? We, hey, we just, ladies and gentlemen, he's a good driver, man. He <laughs> took us to Cincinnati <laughs> and back to Milwaukee in one know. night. You already keep know. going, man. So yeah, we um we get there. Get the performance done, make a long story short, come in third place, right? Yeah. But um Chad Elliott was an A and R for Motown at the time. He was there. We ain't know who he was until he came up to us and told us who he was at the end of the performances. Right. And he was like, yo, he was like, This ain't y'all crowd. Cause it was all type of different genres of you know what I'm saying? Roger that. Yeah. You ain't you ain't gonna even want to know who they picked first, man. Some uh. some dude came in with a a Jesus costume with a cross, like I'm, I'm saying, like for real. That was his performance, but I guess it was all about y'all lost the uh, Jesus. We lost the man, Jesus. That's the accolade, <laughs> man. <laughs> y'all lost the Jesus, bro. Man, but my man, um, Chad Elliott came up to us, you know, and he he complimented us on the performance and everything like that, and you know, he was just like, like man, y'all y'all did y'all thing. So they offered they offered us a demo deal with Motown Records. No. Uh, a lot way. of stuff happened in between that to where we, we didn't get a chance to go. And 
that all leads up to you know why I started my company and right, stuff like that. Right, so, we're gonna touch on that, man. In case y'all exactly. just now no tapping in, in much. case y'all just now tapping in, we kicking it with <laughs> CDMG Cairo Divine, man. Y'all stay tapped in right after this commercial break. Yeah. If you or someone you know are looking for weekly or consistent hair care, I provide hair services for all hair types, lengths, and styles. Book your next appointment with me, Fine Wine Crystal. You can reach me on Instagram at Fine Wine underscore Ice or on Facebook at Fine Wine Crystal. Thank you. I look forward to working with you soon. All clients must be willing to receive hair service within a shop setting. There will be no chemical services provided at this time. Style lengths and prices vary per client. And we're now offering services for clients with tender scalp needs and special needs accommodations. Yo, thanks for still tapping in at the commercial break. We kicking it with Cairo Divine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So we was talking about the uh, the music competition, man. So mm -hmm. like, you came in third places. Did you get any prizes like for that third place? Third place. So we didn't get a we didn't get a prize. What happened was um with that with with Chad Elliott coming up to us and, and offering us you know the Shit, demo that's prize deal and stuff enough like right that. there. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Once we got that information, we thought we were signed. Mm -hmm. At that moment, you know, we young. So we, and, we out, we like, man, what? And you out of town? The whole time. We, we don't give a fuck about nothing, nigga. Fuck that. We, man, we, we even out on the streets, nigga, out on 51st Street. Man, we out, man, just acting oh, crazy, man. Acting real crazy, you know what I'm saying? Man. Just because we like, man, we signed. Yeah, we, we old, really, we bro. We really thought we were signed. We you know old. what I'm saying? Facts, 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 and they facts. offered to um to fly us out to uh the Bahamas because they had a, a up-and-coming artist that they wanted to promote that was shooting a video and they wanted us to be in the video so you know that never happened right because we we didn't have the right representation um that was helping us out absolutely and we didn't we didn't get the memo everything back then was it wasn't no internet and nothing like no, that it was all no. email or yep. mail you and know ain't, no, ain't no young call. ain't no young as well you can be checking your email yes, but ain't nobody on that like the labels yeah. don't play games man if no. you ain't you ain't answer the phone or don't respond to an email yeah they they going to the next People, and that's you know crazy I mean? they come full circle because you could attest man you so like all right so uh, so let's fast forward a little bit so you become a, a music producer how did this happen so becoming a music producer was within that that specialist outfit group my man mister was our electrician he was our engineer he was everything he put everything together i mean this dude could make something out of nothing mm. so following him we ended up getting some equipment we got a um if i i don't remember exactly it was an eps but it was a keep it was a keyboard with drum mm, uh the drum pads with the drum pads on it yeah and we literally learned how to make beats from that mm. you know what i mean we took we we had these floppy discs you had to put in and we know with sounds and my man mister he went and got sounds somehow and we we used to put beats and together that's how i started as like a producer right. versus me writing raps yeah so that's how i ended up doing producer because while while i was producing i ended up making beats for the, 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 whole, the team, whole team the whole camp <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah so i ended up you know they, they like man hey we need another beat like, <laughs> like god damn beat. man i had you know this paper right the, here but fuck on it. The real, I get the, you know what i'm saying so yeah it was um you know i had to had to stretch out my abilities and you know it's like, i didn't even know that i had that ability to be able to do it but i guess just being that being having that ear for music and you know and that was something that just came natural right you know? so what happened what ended up happening with the with the group with the camp like what happened with that um the specialist outfit um we 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 did some some nice things and um we we definitely had a lot of fun and we did a lot of performances and opening up uh for a lot of artists but we just didn't have that business structure that Roger took that. us to the next level. Right. Um, it was really, we knew how to make the songs. Uh, we had hundreds of songs recorded and made between all of us. Mm. But after that, you know, what do you do with the song Ooh. after that? You know what I mean? Man, that that was listen. that was our roadblock. Yeah, you know what I mean, we, yeah. we it was nothing to go to the studio and record. I, we hung out in the studio all day, every day. Yeah, but it was just 
like, what did we do with the music after yep. we done with it? Yep. None of us really knew that. So you said a key word, business structure. So as a producer, what type of business structure do you have and how do you keep up with the industry trends and stay innovative? Uh, so as a producer, I've learned over the the course of time and span of years that I've been doing it, which is probably about 15 years or more that I've been literally producing. So um, uh, along that time, um, I'm, I'm a self learner. I'm a self teacher. I like to, I like to keep my eyes and my ears open and I s absorb a lot of mm, information. Right. So, um, along the way, I just kind of found out what an actual producer does and it is responsible for. Right. So um, that made me even get more interested in doing it after that because it was more of a purpose after yeah. that. You know right. what I mean? It's not just I'm making beats. No, I'm making beats so I could try to get artists to feature on them so I can maybe get some um, – get some TV or some placements, uh, placements and, and gaming or anything like that. Right. And then on top of that, you know, I started a company It's called off the grid O T G yeah. off the grid um, productions. So that's my production company mm. basically that I use to, um, Full you know, on I, production. I basically sell beats through that company It's mm. basically leasing. And you know, you can get an exclusive if you want an exclusive beat. Hold on, pause. Like, how do they get in contact with, with something like that? Like, the, tell, tell the best of the best. How do they get in contact with Off The Grid? So if you go to uh, social media, I'm under my producer name. I'm producer Cairo Divine. Right. So if you type in producer Cairo Divine, then you will get in touch with my page where all my information is on there. My website to my beats is on there. Uh, you will get a chance to hear stuff or contact me or whatever but That's big, yeah, i respond bro. i respond back right away because i'm it's important to me to to be able to help artists out too so you'll you'll definitely get it um in contact with me and i respond right away like name some names of people that you have produced for in your in this 15 year journey um it's a lot more more so it's more like lo a lot of local artists yeah. from the city and maybe um, we're gonna say indie we're gonna use the word yeah, indie. <laughs> indie independent yeah. artists yeah. Yes, local Lord. and independent from the city and within the the united states too i right. work with artists uh all the way from like atlanta to cincinnati to the west coast out on uh west coast in arizona and um, on the East Coast too, like out in Pennsylvania. So uh, I sent beats everywhere. Right. And then I got a, a my beat website. Um, it's worldwide access. So mm -hmm. it's people that contact me sometimes from overseas asking for beats. And right. then I also, I got this website too. It's called Sound Better. I don't know if a lot of people know about that, but it's um, it's basically, I, I'm signed up on there. And um, every now and then I get people that hit me up on sound better. Mm -hmm. Um, and they just ask me for production. And these, I mean, these people have been from, Beautiful. from overseas to wow. like just a different state in the United States. But, uh, you know, sometimes it surprised me that people hit me up, but you know, in my accolades, I put everything on my front page of what I do, yes. the type of music, the genre. So a lot of it be people hit me up for mixing or people hit me up for, uh, beats that they want organized or arranged a certain way. You so locked in, a of, boy. A lot of different, you yeah. know, things I do with that production company. Right, right. And if y'all didn't know, he produced for that, that all-female cypher volume <laughs> three, too. In case y'all didn't know, look that up, yep, too, yep, man. Yep, yep. So, female cypher. Yeah, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of it's, it's beats I, or songs I produce that I, do, I forget about sometimes. You know, <laughs> he locked I in, I boy. So long, I'd be like, man, I forgot I made I that. I made that. You hear that? Cairo five. <laughs> so as a producer, like, how do you approach sensitive tasks of uh, discussing like rearrangements, like with artists? Cause that's a difficult task, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's difficult. Cause this what with with artists, the main thing with me is that I'm a hundred percent honest. Yeah, and um, because of my time that I've done music and mm. been in to music and the studios and working with different people, I developed the ear for music. Yes. So a lot of times I'll be in a studio with artists 
and I always give recommendations. I never, I never tell artists what they should do. I always recommend. Yeah. Because that's a that's a key word. Recommend. Yes, Lord. I always recommend if I, I need to hear that one, man. Yeah, if I, listen, if, seriously, it's seriously because I, I, I be in the booth. I'm not to cut you off. No, I be in the did. booth. I be like, man, you should do. You should this, and that could that could end. It don't end. <laughs> it right. don't end it's right. Yeah. How hard this is. Yeah, 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 Some yeah. Artists don't even want to tell you back. Yeah, you can tell you what back. they doing is wrong. Yeah, you know, but. I'm not a yes man. That's one. That's another Roger thing. That. And, and I, you said a key word: develop the ear. Mm -hmm, develop mm -hmm. the ear. Yes, sir. And that and that's what I do, man. I just I recommend that you change that this word, mm -hmm. or I recommend that you change a phrase, right, or a verse, or right. take the verse out and write a new verse. I will say that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, man, it, it's as soon as soon as my head, I'm bobbing my head. As soon as I be like. It just kind of go all up like, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you you should just yeah, like, cause it cause it got to be yep. that consistent bounce. Yep. Even if it ta, 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 yep. go, it come back yep. to you. You yep. can you could keep that vibe still yep. going. Yeah. So it's you got really, me nodding my head up in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it really come down to to that man. It's just yeah. the artist, you know, just trying to make sure that you you got that connection. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so, Lord. Yes, yeah. Lord. In case y'all just now tapping in, we're kicking it with CDMG CEO, Cairo Divine. Y'all stay tapped in. We got to pay some bills. Yeah, yeah. For fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D. Styles. Located inside Salon Solo at 6329 West Greenfield Avenue in beautiful West Dallas, Wisconsin. Book your haircut experience on the Cut app today or call 414-687-3940. Remember, for fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D. Styles. See you soon. Yo, thanks for still tapping in. We kicking it with your boy. Introduce yourself again, man. It's your boy Cairo Divine, man, from CDMG, CDMG Music Group, man, from the Mill Town, Bruce City. Yeah, you know man. Saying? So explain what CDMG means and how does the publisher company help indie artists? Um, CDMG is Cairo Divine Music Group. It was basically, I named it after my my two sons, Cairo and Divine. Um, the music group part of it is basically like the whole umbrella of what we do as a, a company Roger basically that. so uh what we do is we help independent artists keep their business in order mm. um we offer like different deal structures that cater to the artist's needs um based off of where they want to be um in a career where they want to go um, and we also provide um, our clients with unique distribution, and that's through Empire Distribution. Roger so that. We e inked a, a deal with Empire back in 2019. Mm -hmm. And what that gives us is it gives us the, the name. Um, it gives us the brand. Right. And it also gives us more of a reach than a traditional distribu distributor like TuneCore or CD Baby. Right. So they're, they stretch out to about 250 um, different digital stores. Mm. That's where your music will be. Right. With Empire, they got a lot of different networks. Gazi Shambi is the CEO of Empire. He doing an excellent job over there. But uh, with their resources, they stretch out to about 750 digital stores. <laughs> so you get way wider of a range of reach when it comes to them. And then also what we um, do is we house seven artists under uh, publishing agreements, I'll distribution sell. agreements with us, um, which is the CDMG family, Team CDMG. Yes, Lord. So shout out to Team CDMG, everybody on the team, and much love. Y'all know 2024 is our year, and we about to bring it to them in a way that they never seen before yes lord um so that's that's basically what we do uh for artists and we also help artists that's not team cdmg as well so right let's let's say an artist comes to me and they say 
can you help me out with the business side of what, what I'm doing with music? So, I could attest to that. Yeah, what I do is I'll create a situation where I'll be able to help them where they don't have to join TD, Team CDMG. And it benefits be you a, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah they can, yes. they can kind of just be in a family, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But what I do is I help them on the um, back end, help them collect their back end yes, Lord. money. And, and if they... It depends on their capacity, like... If they want to do some of that stuff they self, yep. then they can. If not, then I'll do most of it or I'll show them what I'm doing so they know exactly how it works. So yes, Lord. we're not trying to take a shine from nobody. We're not trying to, you know, take money from nobody. We making money with our artists yes, at the end of the day. So, and they, they basically hire us, yep. you know what I mean? So, um, it's a it's like a family thing for us and that's how we move and that's how we operate if you've seen us out somewhere then you know you will see you know what i'm saying it's like okay that's the that's team cdmg yep. right there that's the family yep so and he got know. the apparel too so uh y'all make sure y'all lock in so you said a a, a, a key word publishing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was a brief description of what music publishing means and how it works <laughs> I'm glad you said a brief description because <laughs> <laughs> it can be. Oh, let me cross my legs on this one. I feel be, like I said brief, but I feel like it's going it's not gonna be brief. <laughs> <laughs> Man, basically, music publishing is the business of uh, promoting, protection, exploiting, and monetizing of a musical composition. One more okay. time. One more time. So <laughs> a music publisher or music publishing is the business of promoting, protecting, exploitation, and monetization of a musical composition, which is a half, that's half of the song. It's two parts of a song. It's the musical composition and it's the sound recording. All right. So a publisher is like, an organization that will register your copyrights and help manage the administration and revenue collection for the use of your music worldwide. Mm. Okay. That's in a nutshell what a publisher is. Right. And I, and to break all of that down, we have to do a whole nother show. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm down with that. Y'all down with that. <laughs> yeah, I, and I would love yeah, to I'm, do it. You yeah. Know what yeah. I'm yeah. I, I love to, uh, talk, um, publishing, like just strictly publishing and kind of what you should be doing and what yep. you should be aware of when it comes to publishing. Um, because artists need to know, and this is a big part of why they take over the industry now is because mm. of the, the lack of knowledge, the lack of knowledge for yes. artists. So it's all, it's important for us to know. And what we know, we, we not afraid to teach other artists as well. Like we do right. the same thing with our team is like we, they in school, you right. know, we teach them what we doing for them. So they know. So when, yeah. they, when it's time for them to break off and, and go on their own, they know exactly what's going on. Yeah, but it's so it's so many self-publishing resources available for artists. Um, mm -hmm. What can a, a music firm like such as yourself provide to an artist or songwriter? Well, um, it really comes down to the capacity um, and the knowledge of a songwriter or an artist when it comes to managing their songs right um working with a music publisher it can offer like a number of services that a self-published writer or artist may not be familiar with um like such as pitching services um copyright management creative services and uh, royalty accounting mm. so those are the things that that a, a, a artist may not know about because yeah. all of that stuff goes into to great depth. Yeah, you're not protected at all. Yeah, you and you have to know about that stuff. And if you don't, and you don't think like you're not confident in doing that, then that's when you you reach out to a publisher to help you out at right, that point. Right. If you feel confident and you know kind of what you're doing, 
and you can you can do it and still be an artist and still be creative yeah you know that's that's using two sides of the brain at that yep. point yeah you know what i mean yep. so and a lot of artists can't do that nope. a lot of artists got to just be an artist yeah either, if you got to either be a libra or a gemini you got to know your language <laughs> you know what i mean you got to know your language. and this man is a libra duh. all day every yeah, day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it funky, man. I do business, man. You gotta, you gotta ask your publisher what's your side, man. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey but that, man. I'm glad you dropped those gems, man. For one, like uh, I wanted to know. For two, I'm pretty sure, like every everyone wanted to know. Yeah. Additionally, we got one more commercial break. We got our word segment coming up with your boy CDMG Cairo Divine. Y'all stay tapped in. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we are now available on Roku TV. Again, we are pleased to announce that we are on the A&R app on Roku TV. Make sure y'all go support. It's spelled T-H-E, capital A, lowercase A-N-D, uppercase R. No spaces. Please go check that out. Again, it's capital T, lowercase H-E uppercase a lowercase a n d uppercase r no spaces the a and r all one word thank you for your support go check that out yeah of the best entertainment Shh. shut up and hustle <laughs> Yo, man, kicking it with my boy CDLG Cairo behind the behind yeah, the scenes, yeah, yeah. man. We got the word segment. You finna pick your brain, man. You ready? Oh yeah. So do what it. we do is we spin a wheel three times. Okay. And you tell us tell us what you think about the word. Some mm -hmm. more personal words and there's some some words in there. So let's get your first spin. Bet. All right, let's see what we got. What does the word hustle mean to you? How does it pertain to you in your life? Um, let's say I would say the word hustle for me is consistency, um, knowledge, mm. and self awareness and self grind. You have to be self motivated as well. You took that one to the cosmos, boy. Yeah, that's 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 all. That's what hustle would mean to me. Hustle means knowledge. That's uh, self awareness. Yeah. That's D. Let's get a second yeah. spin. Let's get a harder spin on this one. All right, all right. here we go. Let's see what we got. Relationships. Relationships, whether it's um, business or personal I think they all would probably have one thing in common and that would be trust and loyalty if you ain't got trust and you ain't got loyalty no matter what kind of relationship you got whether it's business or it's personal I don't think it's gonna be fit to work Jeez. if you don't Jeez. have those two accolades in there and it's not worked on and a little bit of understanding and stuff like that too but i think that trust and that loyalty is you know because what what breaks a relationship yeah you know once the trust breaks yeah. ain't, you can't recover from that <laughs> we're gonna we go do something we ain't did before so like in in a in a, in a music business what what grows trust like what like how do you prove trust in the music business that's hard in the music business it is. it's hard to trust people yeah and that's first and foremost that's one of the things that you know is something that people don't like to do is trust people in the business right because of you know hearing so much about it but you know i mean you you at some point is just what i tell all artists at some point you got to start trusting yeah somebody. and i had to say that because publishing like you had you got to trust someone with oh, your man with oh, your man what? Yeah, I got your whole yeah. life in my in my palm. What? I take that very serious. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And I got all kind of proprietary information <laughs> that I know about you. And yes. All. Yes. Like, I got to take that serious. Yes, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so, Lord. So for me, I'm dead serious yes. about stuff like that, and that's where I gain my trust. That yes. you know, and it's a lot of know I got that. that it's a lot of conversations, yeah. man, and vulnerability, <laughs> man. Like me and you had, like, man, he got some of my information, yeah. man, can, and we. I can be trusted with yes, that kind of stuff. He can, you man. Know what I, mean? I, I, I could. Test I, I didn't have you know people who 
we 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 parted ways. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But the, I guarantee you, if you talk to them, they can tell you they trust me with their information. Yes, Lord. And I've never I compromised. Yes, that. Lord. All right, let's I get can't. that third spin, yeah, man. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. a good one. Let's get a hard spin. Let's get a Price is Right spin yeah, on this yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, we need that one. <laughs> Got to hit a clickety clack. Oh, man, this is a good one for you. Art. Art. Um, art for me would be a visionary. Hmm. A visionary. Um, if you a visionary, I think the creativity comes naturally. Wait, because you what? have to be creative to, yeah. to you know, to draw the art. But you got to be a visionary to be able to see the art that you're creating. Get out of my head, man. <laughs> you got the word segments, man, with CDMG. Yeah. 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 So, uh, <laughs> all right. So let's get into it because we, we kind of roughly touched on like rearrangements. And so mm -hmm. let's let's talk about writing mm -hmm. and uh and writing camps. Mm -hmm. Like, first of all, how do you feel about writing camps? And like how if it, it first, how do you feel about writing camps? And what do you know about writing camps? And how do artists get involved? with writing camps um so it's a, a three question yeah thing. so yep. a writing camp um how i feel about them is i love writing camps i think that a lot more people should do them um when it comes to artists and creativity um as far as what a writing camp is like it's basically um uh a simplified gathering of creatives mm. and those creatives can be anybody from an artist to a, a songwriter to a guitarist to a producer um, um an engineer um all in the room at one time on one collaborative project Wow, wow. And they grinding it out for how many hours they is mm -hmm. in that studio. And they grinding out with one ultimate goal. And that's that project. Oh. So that, so basically uh, writing camps, um, how you can get involved with one is you have to basically be invited to it by the person that's holding it. Roger that. So... Uh, what we doing as far as writer camps is we adding that into our arsenal for 2024. Mm -hmm. So what we going to be doing starting in February is I'm working with one of, uh, one of my clients, which is split decisions, me and her, we, we going to start this writing camp. Um, it's going to start in February. We're going to hold it once a month and you're going to have, you're going to be able to be invited Ooh, to it because I know of a lot of artists and huge. writers and people like that. So, and we'll be holding, we'll be holding, um, on social media, we'll be posting stuff, you know, letting people know that how they can sign up or be involved in it yes, because Lord. these projects will be released through empire, of course. And we gonna, we gonna see, you know, what these projects do. Cause I, I am sure I am positive that it's some dope writers in this city yeah it's people who write that don't even want to be an artist yeah you know what i mean they don't want to be an artist they just want to write records or write songs so we're gonna tap into everybody on that one. boy <laughs> boy coming, coming soon writer camp. listen man all right we're gonna take this time to have cairo divine introduce his seven artists so who are you working with uh, Piranha K. Piranha K is um, out in um, Chicago, and right now she's uh, working on music. And right now she ain't available. Uh, but you know, once she once she touched down, she gonna be available, and y'all gonna hear from her. Secondly, we got Lowdown Fix It. That's Low. Um, Lowdown Fix It is out in Arizona. My man uh, moved out there a couple years ago. Uh, he was one of the original specialist outfit members ah hey drop the jewel right there he just fucked me drop up. the jewel right there that's my i, I was dog, trying man. to pick your brain i was oh, asking you what happened to the group but yes, that's low down fix it man yes, that's Lord. my dog man salute boy yes, you Lord. already know yes Lord. um and then we got king cairo who is my son 
Uh, King Cairo came on the scene yes, a Lord. couple years ago. What up, right boy? Now. Yeah. yeah, what up, King Cairo? That's my uh, he he my project that you know I'm just kind of grooming him into what he what he need to be doing, should be doing stuff like that. Yes, Lord. So um, he. He he got a lot of music and videos ready to drop. So yes, Lord. we're gonna be hearing from him soon. Yes, Lord. Hey, y'all make sure y'all go check out that video shot by me too. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to promote real King quick. Cairo. <laughs> promote. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. Going right, in. Going, <laughs> going in. in. Yes, Lord. Y'all check that and out. And then uh, we got Team Sal. That's uh, ECMG. They out in Pennsylvania. They out on the uh, East Coast. And, uh, Team Sal, very talented. My man do. Uh, pop he do hip-hop he do r&b mm. um very very talented he's um right now he's legally blind all right so um he writes his own music oh, um and i and i probably man. i probably should correct that and not say right yeah but um you know like they say how jay-z go in in the studio yes Lord. that's that's team side oh yeah. my god yeah he go he go off memory what? And, and off the music, the sound vibrations, all of that. But I wanted, I wanted to put that out there because you know I know a lot of people uh, have seen him and seen him in videos and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. And and it might be a question that might come up in the in the future or whatever. I'm Roger just clearing that. it. I'm just clearing it out. Roger you know, that. right now. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. He's legally blind and he write his own or he come up with his own music. That's a crazy line, Cairo and, boy. And if you hear it, when you hear him, you'd be like, man. This guy got that shit. Yeah, it come from the soul, man. Yeah. Team side. What's yes, up, Lord? Bro? Yes, and Lord. Then we got split decisions. Shout uh, out split decisions. She is one of our female queens. Um, another female queen. Um, on I can the team. only imagine how y'all vibe in the studio. Be uh, <laughs> uh, she a Gemini, right? Yes. Gemini and a Libra. Come <laughs> on, is, now we got. Split is the writer. You know, she the she the performer. She the writer. Yes, Lord. Uh, she's very versatile in what she does, and she got a lot of stuff that we dropping this year because she gonna focus more on the writing aspect of it mm. um, in the near future. So the the, the songs and, and music videos you finna get from her right now is gonna be classic oh because you're not gonna Lord. be able to get it, you know, mm. again, you know what I'm saying? Yes, so, and then we gonna go on to my man C Mills. Yeah. C Millie. Jingle my balls. <laughs> Jingle my, I, you know I had to do it though. <laughs> C hey, Millie what up, C Mills? Mills? What up, boy? And uh, you know, C Mills, the grinder, you know, top, top grinder. Um, uh, man, just yeah. not non-stop. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You already know what you're gonna get yeah. from C Mills all yeah. day. That every real day. ass nigga ain't turning to no man, no way. Former you, fashion. Real man. ass niggas yeah. all day. All day. And then we got book bag cash. Used to be formerly known as FBA Raw Biz. Oh, he changed um, his name. Yeah, so FBA Book Bag Raw Cash. Biz. That's disgusting, boy. <laughs> so he changed Listen, it to Book Bag Cash. I fuck with and it. And then you know, me and him been in the studio working, and within the past couple weeks, he came and recorded some new music. So mm. be on the lookout for some new music from him yes, too. Yes, Lord. And yes, then Lord. last but not least, we got the Princess. Young Veya, yeah. aka Big VZ, yes, Lord. who just dropped that new single called My Year. Yeah. So y'all go check that out. Young Veya, Big VZ, My Year. Young Veya is our youngest artist. She's 16 years old. She write her own rap. She come up with her own songs. And she is dope. So you're going to need to check her out, man. And that's and that's for real, for real. I will put money on it. Yeah, facts, 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 man. And anybody I just named. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's Team CDMG. Yeah, man. You got the cap, man. You got put the <laughs> Yeah, you got the cap, man. And I'm also working with a number of other artists too who I want to um shout out. Uh, a couple of them. One is QD. Yeah, QD. QD yeah. Shout out QD. Bill. Shout out to QD. Yes, Lord. Um Bally Quinn that's out in um Cincinnati and you know, it's it's other artists. I, it's it's a lot of people, man. The name but shout out to Anybody that I forgot that I I work with that's not Team CDMG that you know we just kind of grooving and vibing with each other, and just you know just trying to help show them show them the way and get they you know it's on the flow the next level you it's know on the I mean? flow it's about that next level man yeah. it's levels yeah tears man god damn it so uh what's next man 
Um, so you kind of, you kind of like smoothed over it, but like yeah, I mean, you got some yeah. shit on the flow, so, man. So yeah, this next? year, this year we plan to probably drop more music than we've ever dropped uh, during a year. So you are gonna hear a lot of music from the team. Uh, we always drop a mixtape once at least once a year so we drop a mixtape and then we have like a, a um whole performance you know everybody fly in from yes, where, where, wherever they at and then we have a big showcase for that uh for that mixtape so a lot of things in the workings man i you know we doing the writer the writer camp yeah. um this year so um and then i'm a I'm gonna be. You'll be hearing about me more. Um, I'm gonna fo focus in on the the production aspect of it too. Um, I, I kind of been straying away from it to do some other things, but now I'm I'm going back into mode. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so I, you'll hear a little bit more from me on the production end too, as well. So That's a dope. lot of That's stuff dope. in the workings, man. That's dope, man. And we got the cipher coming up. Loser the cipher, jump. man. How can I forget about the, <laughs> we cipher. Got the cipher coming up too? Woo! So, yeah, yeah. So go, we go know. hand in hand. You got the writers they count. We know. looking for writers. You gotta have that work. You're gonna be going against yep. battle rappers too. Yep. So y'all make sure y'all tap in with that. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, yeah, man. So like, we picked the brain of Cairo CDMG, man. Tell them where to find you at. Tell them, tell them what's yes, going sir. on. Yes, sir. So on, on all all social medias, um, if you type in Cairo Divine and that's C A I R O, then Divine is spelled with a Y, not an I. So D Y V I N E, and um, you'll be able to, you know, tap into me. You know, uh, inbox me, like, follow, share, whatever. It's a lot of material I got on all my social media. So um, just, you know, show show your boys some love, man. You know, come through. I know I, I try to um, hop on all my social medias. And, yeah. you know, I might I might miss your message a couple of days, but I promise if I see it, yeah. I'm going to respond back to you. Yes, Lord. So just bear with me because I'm a busy dude. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm doing a lot and... I'm trying to be everywhere at once. I wish I had like three of me or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's already two of you, man. <laughs> Libra. No, so uh, but additionally, you kind of negotiable with the publishing. Um, what what do you look for in an artist? Um, well, some of the things we look for is uh one thing I know is consistency. Uh, we look for consistency in an artist. You you gotta have consistency. Um, another thing we look for is um, talent. Not so much in today's world. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to her, bro. It's needed. Talk. Yeah. But um, you know, I can. All, I would always vouch to work for uh, work with talent versus non-talent. Roger that. If at the end of the day, yeah. so we look for uh, talent. We look for consistency, and then we just look for artists to have some type of. Uh, fan base mm -hmm. whether it's a small fan base right. or a medium-sized fan base we or a uh, large fan base. or a larger fan base because <laughs> yeah. we got we got yeah uh, yeah you do yeah. we got services that cater to all of them yes lord but uh if you got some type of fan base you know if you got all three of those then you'll probably get my attention roger you that know what i'm saying and and then at that point then we kind of just start sitting down and develop a plan right you and just really it's really about plans and goals Yep. You know, times yep. and dates. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and vulnerability and trust. That, exactly. And trust. So tell them where to find you at on YouTube, too. Um, So YouTube, um, I don't, I got a producer um page uh, on YouTube. It's producer Cairo Divine again. And then uh, we got CDMG Music Group mm -hmm. on YouTube. So on CDMG Music Group, you'll be able to go there and you can catch all the latest videos from all of our clients. On yes, there. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, man. Again, thanks for coming to the show, man. Yes, we gotta have that part two with that no, publishing conversation because that's that's green light. Yeah, I'm I'm and, down uh, for uh giving out that information and um you know just teaching teaching more people about it because a lot of times when you mention publishing, everybody start being quiet and don't want to really talk about it. It's just because you don't know. About they don't. It, that you know? word is just a word, yeah. like. Exactly, and you make and you, you think know, about books or something like that. Just from just exactly, from, like, yeah. And, I, and if y'all wondering, like, man, this dude sitting here talking about publishing, man, what he what he did for people, what he what he doing, what he, you know, we just kind of explain what we do for people. But how I am confident about what I what I talk and Roger say about that. is because I got mentors. Yep. I have mentors who 
have been in the business, been in worked within record labels, major record labels yep. at the same time. So, you know, and I also work with lawyers who who put me up on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So that gives me that ability to be able to spread that information yep. out. Yep. And know what the hell I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> and pass it on to somebody who don't know what they're talking about. Exactly. So y'all make sure y'all lock in, man. For real, man. Mm -hmm. Additionally, we got the singer, songwriters, and producers um, contest. We got something yes, that's going to be live streamed. So you, mm -hmm. you and your artist should come check that out too, man. Okay. That'll be something dope. And, uh, yeah. you know, we'll talk to publishing and all that. You know, three know. to the head. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, man. You, you already there, know, man. man. We we locked in with Cairo, man. Mm -hmm. This is a this is a, a very informative interview. For one, for two, y'all lock in. If you don't know, you just don't know. So get to know it. You know what I'm saying? That was get it together. Dope. Get yeah, it together. Facts, facts, man. Much love to anybody that support the CDMG brand. And um, much love to everybody who support everything that we do. We got a lot going on. So uh, we, we appreciate the love and we appreciate the support and we appreciate the hate. Facts. So, Facts. You know. Again, we kicking it with Cairo. Get your last minute shout outs, man. Who you shouting out, man? Um, shout out to the whole team CDMG. Shout out to my man Q right here, man. Me and me and Q go way back. Y'all don't even know, you know, uh, as far as our history. And uh, me, and, me and him, uh, I got a lot of respect for this brother. And he, Thanks, he out here really trying to help artists and really trying to put Milwaukee, his city, his self on, you know, you know like the next level. So y'all y'all tap in and support this brother, man, because I, I really appreciate this dude right here, man. And then everybody else that, you know, that support us without us even knowing that you support us. We really appreciate that. And you know, I I mean I everybody else. Destiny Lynn, you know, she's she's in the family. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Destiny Lynn first and foremost. Yes, Lord. And um everybody else, anybody else who I may have forgotten, much love to your you. brother. No, boy. I love you, man. Your brother, yeah, tra well, Trey G, man. Yeah, well, Trey G, know, man. Facts. You, know, you already know. You already know. Yeah, man. facts, facts. That's little bro, man. Y'all yeah, already know little bro <laughs> is gonna tell you how it is and know. ain't gonna give a goddamn yeah. what. Facts. Nothing about you talk what you Facts. what you say or think. No, he don't he really give don't. you his opinion, <laughs> and it's most of the time it's facts. facts. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, 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 me and little bro. A lot of people don't know, man. Me and bro talk all the time. Yeah. You know, he he um running that Destiny Land ship over there. Yeah, and uh, me and him talk all the time. You know, as far as the business aspect and stuff like that, mm. um, he give me a lot of jewels. I give him a lot of jewels. Yes. So it's like a right. more of a mutual. A mutual thing with him you yeah. know what i'm saying so um yeah that that dude is smart man yeah, you know he facts. he's smart and, and strategic yeah you know what i'm saying yeah 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 what you say you gotta have what you, what you say you gotta to be uh art you say you gotta be a you gotta have a vision man, man like gotta facts, have man y'all both definitely got that man but this ain't about him this is about you yes, man sir, yes, again sir. man we picking the brain of cairo man we're gonna wrap this up man y'all make sure y'all go check out best of the best tv.com additionally go check us out on the roku device the a and r it's capital t lowercase h e uppercase a lowercase a n d uppercase r I hope you writing that down. Y'all make sure y'all go tap, tap, tap into that. Again, we're kicking it with Cairo, CDMG. Y'all make hey. sure y'all. CDMG. Shh. Shut up and hustle. We out. You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Of the best entertainment. Shut up and hustle. 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 Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle.